Welcome back, boys and girls. Welcome back to Wednesday Wisdom. This is a time in which we take a nugget of God's word and try to apply it to our daily Christian walk to get us through the rest of the week. Boys and girls, we are going to be going through a series. We're going to be talking about the five percenters. Yes, we're going to be talking about the five percenters. We're going to be talking about setting goals um, specifically for our physical well-being, for our mental well-being, for our social well-being, and for our spiritual well-being so that we can be a part of the top five boys and girls living that extraordinary life that God desires for us to live. Amen. Amen. So we're going to go to our Heavenly Father in prayer, and then we're just going to take a nugget of God's word and talk about the five percenters when it comes to our physical health. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Father, we thank you. Thank you for your love, your grace, and your mercy. Thank you, dear Lord, just for um, the opportunity to just share your word, dear Lord, and just pour it into the lives of these the hearers, dear Lord, and I just pray that your word be like seed planted into a fertile ground that produces roots and bear much fruit as each person put into practice what they learn. Lord, bless this time that we have. Open up our eyes, open up our hearts, our minds, our spirits to receive your word that it may change and transform our lives. These and other blessings we ask in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Okay, so boys and girls, we're going to pause for a moment and then go right into the word. Amen? Amen. All right, boys and girls, so we're going to go into our, our lesson for today, okay? We're going to be talking about the five percenters, and today we're going to be talking about our physical health, our physical health. Being a part of the top five percent of boys and girls, that means that we must do things intentionally. We must set goals and go forward and try to achieve those goals so that we are successful in every aspect of our lives, our physical life, our spiritual life, our social life, even our mental life. Amen. Amen. So we're going to be talking about the five percenters. The five percenters are the top five, the top five percent of 100 percent who are doing the extraordinary things, changing lives and making a difference. Amen? Amen. Because we don't want to be a part of the 95. The 95% of boys and girls are those individuals who are just living each day in and out doing nothing. Nope, that is not what we want to be. If we're going to be a part of God's kingdom, God wants us to be on the top doing the things that he has called and purpose for us to do, doing them with excellence and with all of our strength and our might and our minds so that we can bring a smile upon his face. So boys and girls, we talked about goals. And what are goals? Goals are those things that we want to achieve or the destinations that we want to arrive at. In other words, boys and girls, each one of you have a destiny. And God desires for you to do everything necessary to achieve or to to, to arrive at that destiny. In other, in, in other words, there are things that he wants you to do. He's already paved in advance for you to do. He laid out the plan for what he wants you to do. And what we have to do is to step into that pathway and achieve those goals. Amen? Amen. And success is determined, boys and girls, by the progressive realization of that worthwhile goal or ideal. In other words, God wants us to progress towards the achievement of the ultimate goal is heaven. So we progressively go towards heaven. And to do, to do so, boys and girls, every aspect of our lives must have things that we need to do so that we can stay a part of the top, top five percenters and fulfilling God's purpose and plan for our lives. Amen? Amen. So we're going to be talking about the first goal we're going to talk about is get physically healthy. Get physically healthy. How do we get physically healthy? I want to be physically healthy because... It helps me to get around and to do things that um, God has called and purpose for me to do. Amen. And for you too. So there's um, five, four things that we can do to achieve this goal of physical health. One thing is exercise. Number two is to eat properly. Number three, stay away from drugs and alcohol. And number four, get some rest. That's right. So if we do these five, these four things, boys and girls, we are going to be a part of the top five, the top five. And that's what we want to be. We want to be on, the, in, on the, the best of our health so that we can do the things that God desires for us to do. And why is it so important for us to be physically healthy? The Bible tells us in 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 19 and 20 says, do you not know that your bodies is the temple of the Holy Spirit? That is God who is in you, whom you have received from God. Amen. Amen. You are not your own. 
You were bought with the price and the price was the blood of Jesus who died on the cross for your sins. So therefore, honor God with your bodies. Honor God with your bodies. And one way in which we honor God with our bodies is taking care of the temple. Taking care of the temple. And so what God desires for us to do, he's given, I mean, there's some simple instructions that we can do to take care of the temple, boys and girls. We're going to start with the first one. The first one is to exercise. What does it mean to, to do moderate to vigorous movement every day? Do something every day. Run. Um, walk. Jump. Do, do some things, boys and girls, as opposed to just sitting with a little um, joystick or uh, in front of a game console and just pushing buttons. Boys and girls, putting, pushing the buttons is not going to actually give you a healthy heart, nor is it going to give you strength that you need. And what is the benefit of actually exercising? Boys and girls, what it does is improve your mental health. And not only that, it improves your learning and your focus. It also promotes brain health. And then it prevents heart disease and obesity. So what we're going to do the first one, boys and girls, exercise, exercise each and every day. That is our first goal, boy. I mean, objective, boys and girls, to get to come physically healthy is to exercise. The next one that we want to do, boys and girls, is that we want to eat properly. Watch what you eat. Don't just eat junk food. Don't just eat McDonald's and fried food and all of those things. Eat more fruit and vegetables. Eat less fried food and junk food. And what's the benefit of this, boys and girls? It, it prevents heart disease and obesity. What is obesity? That's when you are overweight, boys and girls. What is heart disease? That, that means that the blood cannot flow so easily through your veins. And because it's clogged up with all of this grease, all of this bad stuff that we are putting into our system. Eat healthy, boys and girls, so that you can stay healthy physically. Amen? Amen. Here's the next one, boys and girls, that we want to do is stay away from drugs and alcohol. Say no to drugs that are illegal. In other words, the only drugs that you should actually be taking is the ones that the doctor prescribed to you. Any other drug is illegal, and boys and girls, it destroys. It messes up your mind, and it causes you to actually find yourself, if you get addicted to these drugs, in jail or death. Many of people, boys and girls, have died of overdose, um, of taking these particular um, drugs, and, um, and, it, and or they find themselves in jail by that taking the drugs or selling the drugs. It can mess you up, boys and girls. So what are we going to do? Stay away from drugs and alcohol. That will keep us physically healthy. And the next one, boys and girls, get some rest. Get some rest. What I mean by getting some rest, boys and girls, you should get at least 7.5 to 9 hours of sleep each night. Rest, boys and girls. What does that help and, and help you in? Well, the benefit, boys and girls, is it helps you to pay attention in class. If you're rested, all, rested up during the night, when you get to cl class, boys and girls, you'll be able to pay attention. When you have problems, you'll be able to solve the problems effectively. You can be creative. And then here's the other thing, boys and girls. It prevents heart disease and obesity when you get the proper rest. Amen? Amen. So, boys and girls, those are some of the things that we want to do in order for us to become a part of the five percenters. We want to exercise. Let's do the exercise, boys and girls, to be a part of the five percenters. Not only that, we want to eat healthy, boys and girls. And when you go into the cafeteria, boys and girls, don't just go get the fried stuff or the French fries and, and stuff along that line. Get the things that are healthy and eat the things that are healthy. The carrots, the broccoli, eat the things that are healthy, boys and girls, the bread, um, whatever it is, eat those things that are healthy because they are what's going to make you stronger. Amen. And the five percent is boys and girls stay away from drugs. If anyone try to act, offer you drugs or alcohol, you say no and you go tell someone so that they can help you to get away from uh, people who are actually trying to entice you into taking drugs. Drugs destroy. They do not help you. They hurt you. They tear you down. They do not tear, build you up. So stay away from drugs. Even if the world or the nation make the drugs legal, 
you stay away from the drugs unless the doctor prescribed it to you. Amen. Amen. And to be a part of the five percenters, boys and girls, you must get enough rest. You must get enough rest because if you don't get enough rest, you're going to be tired and weary all day long. You're going to be sleeping in class and whatnot, and you're going to miss your mark. And you're not going to be able to achieve all that God has called and purpose for his five percenters to achieve. Boys and girls, I want to be a part of the five percenters. I pray to God that you want to be a part of the five percenters. And one way in which we become a part of the five percenters is taking care of ourselves, taking care of our physical body, which is the temple of the Holy Spirit of God. And boys and girls, you said, man, these things are hard. And yes, they are hard and you cannot do them alone. So here's what the five percenters do, boys and girls. They lean upon Jesus. In other words, Jesus, what Jesus has done is that Jesus has um, given us the strength through his Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit who dwells in us. We are the temple of the Holy Spirit to give us the, the strength to say yes to what is right, no to what is wrong, and leave the consequences to him. He gives us the ability to be self-controlled when we are tempted to do things like drugs or be tempted to um, stay up all night or be tempted to eat only a junk food. He give us the strength to say no to those things, boys and girls. That is called self-control, and that is one of the fruit of the Holy Spirit of God. So Jesus is there to help us, boys and girls. He is our ever-present ever help. That means he's there for us when we need him. He will never leave us, nor he forsake us. He has our back. So boys and girls, I want to encourage you. Do your very best to become a part of the five percenters. I want to be a part, and I pray to God that you want to be a part. And to become a part of the five percenters, the, one of the first things that we must do is take care of our bodies. Take care of our bodies. Exercise our bodies. Amen? Amen? Avoid those things that are bad for us, like drugs and alcohol. Eat good food, healthy food. And boys and girls, one of the last ones, get some rest. Don't stay up all night playing video games or whatnot, and you all tired and weary, or watching TV all night, and you're tired and weary the next day, and you cannot pay attention in the classroom. You cannot focus. You can't. Y'all, your creativity is out, is gone because you are not getting enough rest. Do all of these things, boys and girls, and you will be a part of the five percenters. Become a part of the five percenters. I want to be a part of that club, and I pray to God that you want to be a part of that club because if we are part of that club, we are taking care of the temple of God. And guess what? When we're taking the care of the temple of God, that brings a smile upon his face and blessings in our lives. Amen? Amen. Boys and girls, I pray that you got the message. Be a part of the five percenters by physically taking care of yourself. Staying physically healthy. Amen? Amen. And what are the four ways we do it? We do it through what? Exercise. We do it through what? Eating the right food. We do it through what? Staying away from drugs and alcohol. We do it through what? Getting rest. Amen. Amen. God bless you and may God keep you.